love me, but I ain't been feeling it lately. You say you love keeping yeah, me fly, yeah, but you keep me from looking so crazy. Come in at six in the morning. Where you been? Where you been? Who is that texting your phone? Just a friend, just a friend. Okay. How would you like it if what? I do the things you do? What? Put you on some not disturb and entertain these dudes. How would you like it what? if I do the things you do? What? Put you on do not disturb and Hey girl, bring it back, 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 and also, I was inspired by my nails. I was inspired by our nails. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's like a neon orange. So I wanted to give you guys a really poppin' orange look. Orange right now is so in for spring and summer. Like, it is definitely one of the most poppin' colors right now. So if you don't got nothing orange, girl. Also, glossy eyes are super in right now. They're on trend. And I haven't done anything like this on my channel. A vibe in itself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like... This whole look is serving me though, for real. The nails, the eyes, the hair, the shirt, the choker, girl. <laughs> Hope you guys are digging this look as much as I am. And if you guys want to see how I accomplish this look, then you already know what to do. Definitely keep on watching. And before you go, definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys want to be down with the prima donna nation. Because come on. <laughs> I really don't even have to keep repeating myself. But you already know how we do. Come on, girl. We slay all day, every day. That's right. If you guys want to see how I did this look, then you already know what to do. Keep on watching, and until next time, bye! So as we all could tell, your girl is in a really good mood. You guys, I haven't filmed in a while, so I'm super hype. I just realized, you guys, I never thought in a million years I would ever wear a wig to make my hair shorter. But I've been loving this bob, so here we go. Of course, my hair is from Ali Julia. This is their Brazilian body wave. And like always, I will leave the links and everything you guys need to know about the hair information in the description box. So make sure you are definitely checking the description box. So I'm going to show you guys the full tea on the hair, of course course on how I got my hair like this starting from the beginning so starting with my natural hair I'm gonna put my hair in two flat twists you guys know this is like the quickest and easiest way for me to just put my hair underneath the wig and keeping my hair super flat so do what you gotta do to get your hair as flat as possible under the wig When I sat down to film, I didn't know what the hell I wanted to film. And then this is when it came to me that I was inspired by my nails. So I was like, oh, it's a look. So now I'm just going to bobby pin the two flat twists flat down to my head. So that way nothing is dangling and everything is all nice and flat. And then I like to put on a wig cap because it just helps make my hair even flatter. So now I'm actually going to take out some leave out for the front of the wig. I love wearing my wigs like this, you guys, especially if you don't want to glue down from ear to ear your whole damn wig. You could just take out some leave out in the front, especially if the wig is the same exact color as your natural hair. It's just going to like hide. So um, this is going to be my method on how to wear your wig with some leave out. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the got to be and just put that where my part is at. Because this is where the lace is. It's not a frontal, you guys. It's just a closure. So. so this method is super easy. Like you don't need to do the most, you guys. So I'm going to take a little bit of the free spray. And then I'm just going to let that air dry for just like a second. And then you just want to go ahead and pop on the wig. So as you guys can see, the inside of the wig, it was a closure. Oh, and don't mind the back of the cap. That's what happens when you send your boyfriend to the beauty supply store. I don't know what the hell Kenny was thinking, getting me an extra, extra large cap. Like, I have the tiniest peanut head. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to line up the part with my part. And as you guys can see, like, you just have your natural hairline. It's super bomb. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of more got to be gel, just so that way I can really press in the lace where my part is that so it could like legit melt okay hey so it was super easy as you guys can see if the wind blows it's just gonna be your natural hairline it's super legit okay like no one can even tell that you're wearing a wig with this method it's popping and it's mad quick so now i'm just gonna wrap my hair with a scarf so that way that got to be gel like really really dry and not move so 
definitely always wrap your wig with a scarf if you're doing any type of gel or anything but anyway moving on to the makeup i'm gonna take this la girl pro primer it's just basically like a white jumbo pencil and i'm just gonna stamp this all over the eyelid so i'm also gonna take that white primer onto the crease as well just so that way it's easier to blend and then I'm going to take my freaking fingers, you guys, with my long ass nails and try to blend this out. Sometimes you just got to get in there with your nails, but it is a struggle with these long ass claws. So you can do this with any color that you want. So the color I'm going to be choosing today is this bright orange, you guys. I've been loving orange. And I did my nails orange and my shirt had orange. So it was just a whole look. It was a vibe. So get with it. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just gonna pack on the orange and as you guys can see that white primer is just allowing the orange to look bomb, boom, in your face. Like that orange is here to slay, bitch, and not play. So now I'm taking a bit of a darker orange. This is in the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And now I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and just blending out those harsh as edges. And as you can see, blending game strong, girl, as always. Damn, that's a transformation. So now it's time to do our wings. So I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I've been fucking with this lately because you guys know the NYC Liquid Liner is discontinued. Ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, I also got some good footage of me doing my liner because y'all know I'd be super close to my damn mirror. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed me doing my liner. <laughs> Y'all not ready. So I got the ultimate makeup hack, you guys. So if you ever need to clean up any type of eyeshadow, instead of using concealer like we all do, get some face moisturizer, you guys. It doesn't allow that harsh, ugly white line underneath the wing. It just disappears and it's moisturizer. So you could just rub it into your skin and it's like, boom, magic. So now I'm gonna prime my face and then move on to some foundation. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Um, you guys know I love this foundation as well. Um, so yeah, and I'm also going to be using my Real Technique sponge. Oh, and by the way, my sponge was mad dirty because this was actually the second time I did my makeup today. I did my makeup earlier to go to the nail salon with my bitch, Nisha. And yeah, you guys, so I had to hurry up and rush to go do that. You guys know I'm a mom. So yeah, nobody got time to be washing beauty blends to do my makeup like three times a day, all right? Now for my under eye, I'm going to be taking my MAC Pro Wear Concealer, my jam right here. And I'm going to be using that on a small foundation brush and also blending that in with the Real Technique sponge as well. To set that concealer in place, I'm using my Cody Airspun. Um, I love this powder as well. As you guys can just see for yourself, it just sets so beautifully and is super cheap, super affordable. You guys gotta get it. To bronze up the skin, I'm taking Max Give Me Sun Bronzer and I'm gonna just go in. Um, usually I've been cream contouring. That's why this is a little weird for me because you guys know I never used to cream contour and now I always cream contour. But today I was just too hyped to throw some gloss on these damn eyes so i was like fuck the cream contour bitch let's hurry up and do the face because i want to just slay these eyes now i'm taking the sephora micro smooth powder and i'm setting all the places that we don't have powder on the face so the concealer is set and also our bronzer areas are set so this goes everywhere else that you do not have powder and it also makes the face look super smooth like a filter so now i'm going in with california my favorite blush of all time by benefits and um yeah now i'm going to be taking nyx dewy skin finish finishing spray and now i'm going in with my ofra rodeo drive highlight and i'm gonna od with the highlight i'm gonna be honest usually i just highlight like my nose and my cheekbones but because we're doing a glossy look we have to have everything glossy all right everything is glossy in this look so go in with the highlighter and ain't nobody gonna tell you nothing So 
To finish up the lower part of the eyes, I'm just taking a little bit of black pencil liner in my lower lash line, I mean in my waterline, and I'm just going to put that halfway. So don't bring it in all the way, just put it halfway. And then I'm also taking that orange halfway as well. I don't know, it was just a weird little look. I didn't want to put it all the way in, but yeah, I'm taking more Rodeo Drive into the inner corner, and then I decided to also bring my liner into the inner corner as well. For lips, I'm just gonna do a quick nude liner. This is from Collab. Um, I'm not sure of the color. I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna just fill in the lips with nude liner as well and leave them as is. And then I'm just taking a clear gloss. This used to be a clear, but it's old, you guys. So you know, some lips they got into the tube, but it's whatever. But yeah, I'm taking a clear gloss, you guys, and I'm just going to throw that only on the lid. It kept getting in my lashes, so. Maybe you want to do this before lashes, but I wanted to do it last. But as you guys can see the difference between matte and glossy, like it's so crazy. This shit was so popping. Oh my God, I love this look so much. Just even watching this footage is just like, damn, <laughs> like I'm dumb hype. But yeah, you guys, as you guys can see, it looks fire. Now, of course, you have to add gloss on the lips as well. You got to complete the look. And that was pretty much it for the makeup look. Now just to sum up the hair, you guys, we're going to take off the scarf. And now I'm taking some leftover foundation and putting that where my part will be. And then I'm just going to slay my baby hairs real quick. And like I said before, this is body wave hair. So I did go over it again with my straightener. And then I did bump in the ends as well. I just love bumping in the ends on, on bobs because it just makes them look so much better. But yeah, after you do that, you guys, this is the completed look. I love this look so much. Definitely one of my favorite looks on my channel. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And thank you all for watching. And until next time, guys, bye!